Capricorns, it's Ariana, your tarot life coach, coming at you with your January reads. All right, guys, so I hope that you enjoyed the year in review, and uh, that was a lot of fun to do, actually. I enjoyed those very, very much. So big hugs, lots of love, happy new year, happy year of the one, and happy birthday, Capricorns. Hope you guys are doing wonderful. Started off with your read because it's your birthday month, and you deserve to get your read first. So with that being said, welcome to my channel if you are new, and if you're a returning family member, High fives, dap, love, and hugs, Capricorns. I hope you guys are being blessed. I hope that the energy is flowing nice and well for you. All right, guys, this is a general read. And when I say general, I mean broad. I mean, it's not going to fit every part of your life, all right? But if it does, hallelujah, so glad we could connect. This is basically going to focus on the energies that are going to be coming in for the month. So right now, it might not even make any sense to you. You might be like, what the hell is she talking about? But give it some time. Come back and check it out later on this month and see if maybe we could connect that way. So with that being said, let's jump into your power animal. This is the squirrel. All right, you have the squirrel. You might kind of feel like you hit... A dead end, but the squirrel is telling you, dust yourself off, baby. You got this. Go put your nuts away and come out and play. I really feel like the squirrel energy is almost kind of getting you back into the game. I see your bushy tail. I see him hunched over like he's popping it back and having a good time. But I also see him peeping through the corner of his eye. Um, the squirrel is about being adaptable and resourceful, you know, preparing for the future, planning ahead. Um, it's also a warning. And it's telling you to um, avoid some danger by getting a higher perspective. This is a great time to get rid of clutter, physical, mentally, and spiritually. Questions to ask yourself with the squirrel is, are you too busy, not busy enough, or hung up on something? This is also about erotic energy, so it is time to focus. Um, forgetfulness is also a thing with the squirrel, if you think about the erotic energy. This is also telling some of y'all that it's time to socialize. It's time for you to be out in the open and let go out and meet new people, okay? This is a charming animal. However, trust may be an issue for you at the time in the fact that I have the dancer of reconciliation and the spirit of truth. And then I see the little squirrel eye giving me the little beady bees right now telling me ain't something right. Something is not right. So with that being said, I'm going to tell you, trust your instincts. Not everybody is the same. The spirit of truth is telling you to see things for what they are. Allow the energy to manifest before you make your choices and your decisions. The dancer of reconciliation is saying there is a situation, a person, or a relationship that you might need to forgive yourself or forgive others in, in order to move to the next level. All right? So this is what your spirit animal or your totem, not necessarily your totem animal, but your power animal for the month is with your two spirit guides from the Shaman's Oracle by Will Kingham and John Matthews. Okay, now the tail power. I want you to think about that tail. That tail is a fluffy, fluffy tail and it's inviting and it's cute and it makes you flirtatious. So I'm telling you, if you want to put yourself out there, this is a good time to put yourself out there. If you're looking for a relationship, this is saying, yeah, it's about that time. All right, with that being said, let's jump into your general read. <laughs> this will focus on five cards. We will use clarifiers if needed and general energies. So this is how I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to put all the cards out. We're going to talk about them and then we're going to clarify and then I'm going to give you the messages that I'm picking up from them. Okay, as I have already pre-shuffled the deck, we are going to shuffle together. As I'm splitting the deck apart into two, I have the Carib of Wands with the Prince of Disc reversed. So there's a situation that's kind of taking a little bit too long for you. This could be you. This could be the person you're dealing with. However, it is a blessing in disguise. It is almost like your spirit guide is telling you, you know what, baby, don't even worry about it. It's going to happen when it's time to happen. It's also telling you to check your, um, your greed at the door and uh, make sure that this is something that you really want to do. All right, jumping into your read. Say, see, 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 this deck and show that you have for Oh, y'all, my, it's a gridlock. And that is it. Okie dokie. So I'm going to move your spirit, guys, to the side. In the past, we have love. And this could be anywhere from yesterday 
to whatever, all right? I'm not talking about yours. I'm just talking about, you know, a little while back. The present moment, we have the Ace of Wands. Oh, my gosh. The hidden influence is the Queen of Cups reverse. You know, I tried to do your read earlier, Cappy, and you had a lot of cups in it and not the good ones. So let's see what else comes out. The advice is the princess of disc. There you are. And the possible outcome is the three of disc reversed. Your overall energy. Oh, shit. <laughs> I have a couple. Well, I'm just going to pull them both out. I have the king and the queen of wands showing up for you interesting and behind the king i have the six of disc with the empress wow i don't know what's going on capricorn but let's jump into your read in the past we had the two of cups this can either mean a partnership but this is like an offering of love and since it's right by the ace of wands i'm telling you baby it's a new beginning for you i feel like you are about to jump into something completely different possibly with a fire sign just because of the ace of wands the carob of wands that came out when i split the deck and the king and the queen this is like hot fire baby this is like some passionate stuff going on i'm also kind of getting the fact that you are ready to pour love into something or you are ready to start this partnership and so you're ready to go from the two to the one all right now, the hidden influence is this Queen of Cups. So I'm going to tell you, I don't know, Capricorn, if you're dealing with two different people or what's going on in your love situation or work situation, but I have a three over here. And this tells me, look, there's the Capricorn gods. And then this is a little party going on over here that we need to know about. Then I have a you, and then I have an older sign. Now, the Queen of Cups is a hidden influence. This is either you not trusting your intuition or you dealing with somebody who is emotionally manipulating you. Or you've dealt with this person so much, you don't even know how to see things anymore. Because remember, we have the Dancer of Reconciliation and the Squirrel's BDBI looking at people like, mm -mm, I'm not taking your nuts because you're a freaking nut. So anyways, that's the hidden influence. And we are going to clarify to kind of see what Namu has to tell us. Because I find it so interesting that the Queen of Cups comes up in this read. And in the first read I was doing for you, I had the King of Cups. I'm going to tell you what I had. The King of Cups upright. The Prince of Cups reversed by the devil reversed. And for me, that's illusion, delusion. So you're dealing with something from your past and you're afraid that whatever you're jumping into is going to be the same thing. It's not, it, it does not have to be that way, to be honest. I think that whatever is coming in new for you, you're going to have to kind of take your time with it. All right. So the advice is the princess of disc. And this is you with your hands up on your vagina telling people, mm -mm, not today. I'm going to protect what's mine. And, and when I say on your vagina, you're protecting what's important to you, whether it be your family, whether it be your home, whether it be your genitals, I don't know, whatever you find important, you are trying to make sure that it is safe. The one thing that I do notice is that she is naked, okay? She, she's bare breasted, meaning that she's very vulnerable and she's putting herself out there. Capricorn, you are trying to put yourself out there, which is kind of making you feel a little bit ungrounded because you might be doing things that you weren't so, you know, you're not, they're not like you. You're not used to being caught up with all this fire going on because the king and the queen over here, they're upright. So I kind of feel like it's, it's not a bad thing. I feel like these, these court cards have some energy that's coming in, like a change is coming. There's new life being breathed into it. And you coming out as a princess, it's almost like you want to learn from your past to move on into your future. Now, the possible outcome with the three of disc, this is just simply saying, man, you know, like it's time to get grounded. It's time to kind of see things for what they are. And if we make the wrong decision and we do not guard what's important to us, I do feel like there's going to be a third party entry and it's either going to be this king or queen or this queen. Somebody's going to get in the mix that's not going to make it what you want it to be. The three of disc for me reversed. It's almost like you see the feminine energy with the spider on the side. Okay. And she's over there. And she's hard at work or he's hard at work. Don't spin your wheels. That's what I'm hearing. Don't spin your wheels. Don't overthink and just do. Just do what feels good to you and what feels right to you. 
because emotionally manipulative people will always try to make things appear like they're not. Now, the king and the queen that I have over here on the side, I kind of feel like they're just like dynamic energy coming in for you. I, I feel like they want to lead the way. They're showing their candles. They're showing their wands. They're showing you their passion, their joy, their, vibe, their vibration, you know, and it's almost like a change. This is like a brand new way of looking at things. So I'm going to put it like this real quick just so you can see this king and queen. And for others, this is just a family situation. You got somebody in the family that's manipulating the shit out of stuff. And you can see right through it. And you don't want to be a part of this ungrounded situation. Okay? So in a love situation, if you were thinking about a relationship, and what I usually tell people when they're watching a channel or when they're watching a reader Go in there with a specific thing in mind or ask your question to the universe, like lead me to the right person, lead me to the right channel. What do I need to hear? And it might not be the entire message, but there might be one part of the message that hits you that you're like, holy hell, that's it. That's what I needed to hear. So in a love situation, be very careful because this is going to be a three party situation and you might not even know that this other person is married. However, this I see love was being offered in the past. You accepted it. You're starting a new relationship. However, someone is on the outside trying to emotionally manipulate you. You're guarding what's important to you, but you do feel ungrounded. Okay. In a work situation, I'm going to tell you that this queen of cups, I don't think she has some good stuff for you. Protect your shit. Don't talk about nobody. Don't be in the mix. Guard what's important because this partnership and this new beginning and this new job, it was a gift from the gods and they want you to be blessed. Okay. In a family situation, what I'm picking up is counseling would be advised, all right? Anytime I see the three of disc, I always think about counseling. Uh, it's the three of disc and the seven of arrows because I feel like a very ungrounded energy. And I feel like almost like if you think about the squirrel having to get rid of a lot of things, clearing that clutter, I kind of feel like one of those discs has got to go, okay? So look at your situation. If you are seeing a lot of people or you're trying to start this business with too many people, look at what can go and what needs to stay. So let's clarify. What does the Queen of Cups? The Queen of Cups could talk. What would she say? The Queen of Cups could Okay, Whew. it's over. That situation is completely and utterly over. And that, the, okay, so this is really interesting. So Namu, the Queen of Cups, is the mother of On and Ki. On is the sky god. Ki is Aruru, the empress. And when they were born in the waters of Namu, okay, they loved each other so much, they created a son named Elil. Elil split the universe apart and created the universe. Now we have Tiamat, which is the chaos dragon that's around this, this purple dragon right here. And this is primordial goddess energy who was married to Apsu. She is the salt water. He, no, he was the salt water. She was the fresh water. Together they merged and they created Namu. They created um, the primordial gods. And... Tiamat was killed by Marduk, which is actually the son of Ea, which is the magician. I mean, it goes on and on and on. So what I'm trying to say is if this is a family situation, the Queen of Cups is trying to completely manipulate things to look like they're ungrounded. But it is going to be your job to search for answers. I'm also going to tell you, Capricorn, that... Um, Getting your blood pressure checked might be a good thing um, if things are stressing you out with that situation because I feel like uh, every time I see the Ace of Wands, I have two pictures that run through my head. I have the doctor sign, like the hospital sign, and then I also have um, phallic symbols. So this is a very passionate thing. This is something that you're very um, emotional about. However, be very aware that that Queen of Cups is playing games and that is the spirit of truth and that's what's trying to come through for you to show you Hey, something ain't right, okay? Something just is not right. And you see how you're looking at her like, mm-mm, 
I'm not going to play with you. And you're guarding yourself. You're still being vulnerable, Cappy. You're still putting yourself out there, but you're guarding yourself. For some Capricorns, you will have a male fire sign coming in to shed light on the situation, offer passion, give joy, change things up, heat it up in the bedroom. And for others, you are going to have a fire sign female coming in. And the reason why I'm saying that is because the king and the queen are there. So I feel like it's specifically telling you Capricorns may, may or may not like uh, fire signs, but they're coming in and they're actually going to give you some energy. They're going to change things up and they're going to, I think you're going to be using that flirty tell of yours and you're going to be showing everybody what's going on. So Cappy, I feel like love is going to be going good. Partnerships are going to be going good. Now the three of disc is the one part. Let's, let's go a little bit more on that. What is the energy of the three of disc? What's the energy of the three of disc? Conflict. Okay. So for some, this is you being knocked off of your feet. You getting a little lazy in a situation. Um, whether it's love or work, you're like, oh, well, maybe this isn't working for me. What do I do? And so you're a little conflicted about it because you have that emotional manipulator over there on the side and you're watching that instead of seeing the work go by. So make sure that you're paying attention at your job. Make sure that you're paying attention to the relationships that you want to move forward in and not so much looking at the past because not everybody is like the past. There is a future, there is something better and it's knocking at your door and it's, it looks like it's gonna freaking knock you in the head with all this fire that's going on. Um, it's gonna be a pretty steamy month for you Capricorns. I think it's gonna be pretty hot, hot and tempting because water and fire that you got going on in this read, that makes nothing but steam. <laughs> So that's what I have for you guys. I hope that it makes sense. I will say with the conflict being upright, I feel like it's more like an inner debate, an inner fight that you're going to be feeling. Um, maybe it's your passions overwhelming you at work. Almost like you don't want to be at your job. You want to be doing something that you'd rather, you know, more fun or, or something more um along a different lines. Some of y'all will be looking for different jobs because you're tired of being manipulated and doing other things. Some of y'all are being offered a partnership in something and I would tell you it would be a it'd be a good idea to take it. However, that's what I got for you guys. I hope that it makes sense. I know I went a little bit off with what came out. However, I'm going to tell you intuition is going to be a huge factor for you this month. Huge huge factor. I have your oracle cards. Your first oracle card is the offerings card. Offerings card. The universe is grateful for you. You are a gift to the world. Feel gratitude for everything in your life, even the things that don't seem perfect. Appreciation for everything flows through you in great bounty. Okay? So, with that is, gratitude was a secret for a joy-filled life. True thankfulness can work like modern-day alchemy in your life, yielding happiness and peace beyond imagination. All right? So it's like whatever's going on, just be thankful for it. Be thankful for that situation with the Queen of Cups reverse because what's, what it did is it taught you what to be aware of. I almost going to say red flag, red flag, red flag. And so some of y'all are going to start seeing the red flags. Don't ignore the red flags. Don't ignore it. Just because you, you want to forgive does not mean that you have to like totally be blindsided, all right? And the reason why I say blindsided is you have the night eagle coming in and this is the owl medicine. And these are the spirit, um, the native spirit oracle cards. They're just your oracle cards that I like to pull at the end. Uh, this is about wisdom, illumination, and intuition. Go within, you're going to have to trust. And look, it's hot fire, hot fire, hot fire, hot fire, and the ace of wands. Ancient knowledge is emerging in you. This is also telling you when the owl shows up, there's a situation that needs to die. It just needs to be over with. Whatever it is, see through the bullshit. Remember that you have the spirit of truth. The spirit of truth is telling you, see things for what they are. Be thankful for the situation. Understand that it had to happen. Understand that things have to be this way sometimes. But it does not mean that you have to sit around and let it go on. And I think that's where that debate is coming from. So, the owl is telling you, you can see through the darkness. 
Harness that feminine energy. Balance your male and female energies. And there's a situation, guys, that you really need to see things for what they are. I'm telling you, some of y'all are having this conflict like she's going to or he or she is going to be just like my ex or just like so and so. And the truth of the matter is if you see the red flags, then yes. If it's just in your head, make sure you're seeing things for what they are in front of you. Make peace with yourself. Make peace with that past situation and allow this energy to flow. I hope that makes sense. Now, I did pull your, um, your rune for the month. And I'm going to tell you, it's more hot fire. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with you guys. But you got Rido. And Rido is telling you, ride out. <laughs> it is actually all about the journey. And the animal for this is the goat. So I know y'all are the goat fish. However, I feel like it's very fitting. It's the goat. And the bird for this card is the eagle. And I just, you know, the owl is considered the night eagle. So I really feel like this is really tying together for you. Um, this is about journey. It also means that you're ready to change spiritually what's going on with you. And if you think about how the goat agilely goes up the mountain and he gets to where he's going, it tells you that progress is going to be made. Like it's going to be a rough ride maybe, you know, whatever. But you're going to get there. Communication is going to go very well for you. You're probably going to receive some good news or be very successful in some negotiations. Unions or reunions may also be in the in the near future and that's going to go right there with the dancer of reconciliation so that's what i'm picking up for you this is about decisive action travel communication progress so i feel like you're moving on to different things things are looking pretty damn good for you be accepting to what the universe has to offer you all right with that being said let's see what number is leading us for the month and I have the number four on top and the number, I don't know which one to go with, we'll just say two on the one facing you. So that is a number six when I add those two together. And the six is basically telling us guys that, sorry, I tell you these people, I don't know why they honk. The six is all about earthly matters. So this is about money, um, luck is also the number of Venus. So, love and money are going to be highly important to you, and you're going to be highly lucky in those areas. Um, and remember, this is general, guys. It's not for everybody. Don't be trying to message me and say, you're still going to be looking in, in, in love and money, and I went and gambled my life away. Hey, baby, I didn't tell you that. <laughs> it wasn't no personal read. So, yes, just understand that earthly matters are going to be very well handled this month, and I think that's what... Um, this, this debate is going on. Don't neglect work for love. <laughs> Guard what's important to you. Use your intuition this month. And, and be ready to go on the journey because it's going to be fun and exciting. I feel like you're starting off this year hot fire. All right? You are ready to go. You're getting rid of that manipulative energy. You're seeing things for what they are. You're going to be like the squirrel and harness that energy. Store, store what needs to be stored. You know, be more social and be flirtatious so that you can get whatever it is you're looking for. All right, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the read. I'm super, super excited. Happy New Year. Hope you guys were safe. Remember, no drinking and driving. And big hugs and lots of love.